Welcome to Computer Literacy. You're going to need a lot of different software to be able to make this class work. To save you money, we have included video textbooks for the class through lynda.com. You can get to the lynda.com link to log in at the top of the modules section. Each day when you go to work in the class, you'll need to log in to lynda.com initially before you begin. Once you've clicked the link, you're logged in for the day. You do have access to the entire lynda.com site, so if you have anything that you're interested in, programming, photography, etc., you can use any of the videos that are out here. And this is a wealth of resources for you. You will be required to watch specific videos in the module section in the course. So for example, when we get started, you're going to watch lynda.com tutorials on getting to know computers. You'll notice that there's a Windows version and a Mac version in here. And you can watch the video that corresponds with the computer that you're using. To use lynda.com, you'll just hit play. When using the word computer in the context of this... And notice that you have options to turn on closed captioning to expand to full screen, and there's also a transcript of each of the files. The transcript can be useful when you're completing your study guide if you need to look up something specific rather than watching the whole video again. Also in the modules, you'll notice that we have information about the class, which has your instructor contact information, how to send a private message, frequently asked questions, and if there's one that you don't know, something that's not already been asked, please ask it so we can expand that section. There are several useful links. You are going to need Word, Excel, PowerPoint, OneNote, and Access. We give you all of those for free. You can get access to Office 365 by following the steps in this document that will allow you to download the version of Office for your computer. For Mac, it'll be Office 2011. For Windows, it'll be Office 2013. And you'll notice the tutorials in the course are there for both. The only thing that's not included is Access. For that, you're going to need to use DreamSpark, which has free Microsoft software. Please notice the first time you use it, you need to register. And to do that, you're going to have to fill out this form. You have to put what subject you're in and what product that you're looking for, which will be Microsoft um, Access you're going to need, and you're going to have to fill out this form and submit a requ this request to have your account created. That'll take three to five days, so please do that in the first week of class. You'll need Microsoft Access for the last unit. Be aware, Microsoft Access does not exist for the Mac. If you're going to use a Mac for the course, you'll have to make arrangements to find a computer that has access on it for that last unit that is available in the labs at school. The course is set up in modules, and they're in order in the module section. The course is run in many different time frames, 8, 12, or 16-week classes, so your instructor will set up the specific dates for when things are due. You'll have many types of assignments. You'll have projects, you'll have discussions, you'll have study guides, and you'll have a final exam, which has many different projects that you need to complete, as well as a multiple choice project. Please don't hesitate to contact your instructor should you have any questions, and we hope that you enjoy computer literacy.